Man, though your bitch not gonna let your bitch go, man. It's the motherfucking hip hop lab. We got you cash in the building. It's popping. What's popping, bro? It's breaking. So, man, you been shit, bro. And as far as the Detroit rap shit, you was one of the one of the first motherfuckers dropping videos consistently. You know what I'm saying? Then once you and your group probably was at the height, high as y'all have been. You had to go away for a minute. So yeah. for the people who not hip to Juke Cash and everything that you did, what you about to do is going to be a little bit more familiar. Who was Juke Cash? Juke Cash, uh, you know, I was originally Star Hard Hot Boys uh, back in 2013. You know, we had a group. Um, you know, a few members and shit. And, you know, we went nuts. We went crazy, you feel me? We young niggas doing this shit, you know what I'm saying, working hard, trying to get our name out there and shit. You know, I went, I did some time and shit, six years, you feel me? I'm home now, so I'm still the same nigga, bro, you feel me? But, you know, I'm pushing a whole different team, though, you know what I'm saying? I got the hard body shit going on now and shit, so that's the hard operation. That shit shut down for our little cash in, you feel me? Okay. So, so you so so hard body that that's that show your imprint you running around that's new new thing that that you that's how you coming back into 2019, yeah, that's, 2020. That's the new thing. We on a new death row tip. I got all bloods around me and shit. You feel me? And we pushing this shit like that. So you know that's what it is. You feel me? So I mean, wow. Like with the stunt hard shit, you know what I'm saying? They 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 hit a plateau that a lot of people in Detroit never hit. Like they had. You know what I'm saying? Chief Keith fucking with him and a lot of other big major cosigns. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with, with you being incarcerated while this shit is happening, like, what was your reaction to some of, some of the big things that was going on? Oh, I was in that bitch lit. You feel me? I was excited. You know, I, that was the bros. You feel me? Now, since, I, since I'm saying that I'm not a part of Stone Hard no more and, you know what I'm saying, I'm not on that team. I'm not saying that I don't fuck with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Those the bros. They, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with them niggas. Like, them niggas brothers. You feel me? So... We gonna always be locked in, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas already know they straight, you feel me? But you just outgrow shit, you feel me? Yeah. That nigga Ho, you know what I'm saying? He makes steps. That nigga Jay Z, he takes his steps, you feel me? He outgrew Dane, you feel what I'm saying? So you outgrow shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? And we getting with the new, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta know when it's time to do some new shit, some fresh shit, you feel me? Because time changed, bro, and that's what I'm on. Now, even even with with now like, we ain't gonna dwell too 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 much on on the on the old shit, but one of the frequent collaborators of Stone Hard was was All Stars Ball Hard and All Stars Ball Hard T. So even with you being incarcerated and seeing his success of somebody that you collaborated with in the past, what was your reaction to that? Oh shit, that, that shit well deserved. That nigga work hard just like us. You feel me? So uh, I be hearing niggas saying like he an overnight success. You feel me? But the nigga was working hard, you know what I'm saying? Before the uh, prison bit, that nigga was putting in his work and shit, just like we was doing the same shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I, that shit was up, you feel me? Big ups to that nigga. And, you know what I'm saying? And all the all-star bar hard niggas, the nigga JR Lee and them too, man. You know, them niggas, they good niggas. I fuck with them niggas too. So, the niggas out this bitch doing their thing, especially JR, you know what I'm saying? He got his way of growing this shit. And I fuck with them niggas, you feel me? That's what's up, you feel me? That's 100, man. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah. So, bro, nah. Drew Cash, home. Nah, it's a lot of lot of things that 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 can transpire while you've been away. One of the biggest things that was in the comments when a lot of shit was going on, like how I wonder how Drew gonna feel when he come home and everything is all scattered out. Like I would expected you to do your own thing once you came home, just because you know what I'm saying. Niggas didn't really keep it together. Right, you right. know what I'm saying. For well, sure. So. What do you what what what's your first move like? When 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 can we expect? Are you gonna come like the first day out route, or are you you gonna come whole mixtape, or like how you coming? Well, I'm coming all angles, bro. You feel me? Uh, I ain't coming on no first day out shit, cause I ain't you know what I'm saying. I'm not grizz. You feel me? That's yeah. It. But, I but you know, but that, that he wasn't the first one to do that either. Like, that was a Gucci man shit. Yeah. NBA young boy, Kodak, for like sure. you, it's the first day but, out as a thing. But we gonna give it to him because that's bro. That's the home. He, okay. he the home team. You I know what I'm saying? That. So we gonna give it to him. We gonna that's his. That's his shit. You feel me? Okay. But I'm definitely coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping shit, bro. I'm dropping mixtape, all type of shit. Shit coming real, real soon. I know niggas been waiting for a long ass time. You feel me? Uh. Nigga been real busy too, you feel me? Niggas gotta remember I just came home, so right. I did some time in that bitch, so nigga. It was like shit, I had to get other shit together too, you feel me? At the same time, real life shit. Insurance and shit like that, you feel me? So just nigga, that shit coming real soon, bro. Niggas can just, uh, you know what I'm saying, space with shit like this week for sure, you feel me? So 
Oh, so so you coming video like this week? For sure. Because sure. this interview gonna be out tomorrow, so yeah. the video gonna be out this week. They gonna be on your ass sure. now, yeah, like yeah, where this yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. So since you've been away, like who are some new artists and or new producers that you want to fuck with that you ain't necessarily had the chance to fuck with yet? Shit, uh, it's so many niggas that's doing shit now. You feel me? Uh, really, all of them niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Our our city right now, bro. It wasn't like that when I was out, you feel me? It was hard, nigga, to get a buzz. You feel what I'm saying? We was chasing Doughboys cash out and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, everybody got a wave and everybody getting a buzz, nigga. And that shit great, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with anybody on the music. If your shit popping, you feel me? I'll fuck with you for sure, you feel me? But, you know so I can't just really name just one nigga in particular, one group in particular, one producer in particular, like... You know what I'm saying? I'm open. You know what I'm saying? I'm open arms to all. You feel me? Just ready to work. I'm ready to work. You feel me? Okay. I love this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Like what? What I what I can say? You know what I'm saying? From from my perspective, bro. Like a lot of people don't get the chance to be in position, bro. You feel me? Like like and you know what I'm saying? And I could never. I couldn't even fathom being in your position, my nigga. Uh, of of me being doing this music shit and it's so hard to get into this music shit. I'm being with my group of guys. They get successful in the music shit and then the shit all fall apart while I'm away and I gotta come home and you really gotta do this shit for yourself because the stunt hard shit really gone. You feel me? For sure. Bro. So you know what I'm saying? We gonna stand on the business though. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's in the past. Yeah. To be honest, bro, I don't really even give a fuck for real. You know what I'm saying? We gonna stand on the business. You feel me? This hard body. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? We on some new shit, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to them niggas, though. I love them niggas. Them niggas know, nigga. I talk to them niggas every day. Yeah, no but doubt. But we on the new, though, you feel me? Yeah. Them niggas gonna reap the benefits of this shit, too, though. That's 100. So, you feel me? So, them niggas already know what it is, bro. We already discussed and talked about, you know what I'm saying, what's finna happen. And, you know what I'm saying? And I seen you on Buddha in the studio, with. so shit, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, that's bro, you feel yeah. me? So, them niggas know what it is, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all I love them niggas. Them niggas know what it is. They reap the benefits of that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, so, bro, even, even like, back in the day, you was dropping on Great Lakes Productions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and have, 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 have you had the chance to, to uh, pop at Javar yet? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he rapping and shit. No, I ain't even pop at him yet. It's been so many motherfuckers, bro, who've been reaching out. And motherfuckers I need to reach out to, bro. And it's been so much shit. Like, this shit been so hectic, bro. Like, I don't even out a week. You feel me? So... It's been so much traffic, bro. So much shit going on that I didn't even get to holler that much. I, I still ain't even seen a lot of my bros that, that I need to see, you feel me? That's because it's been just so busy, bro. So much shit going on, you feel me? But Flex. I'm going to catch up with the nigga, though, you feel me? That's shit, I went home. Okay. You feel me? I went in the house, nigga. Set the fuck down, took my shoes off. You feel me? Nigga, don't do that shit in that bitch in that cage. You know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted to do, nigga. I went home, nigga. I sat down, nigga. And, uh, you know, I had to go report. You feel me? I had to go holler at my agent and shit. You feel me? I had to go get my shit all hit. Line up and shit like that. Regular shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go get some clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just regular shit. But the first thing I did, nigga, I went home, nigga. Sat down, nigga, took a shit. You feel me? Peacefully, though. You feel me? That's the first thing I did. My first day out, nigga. I've been that bitch so long, bro. Nigga missed that regular shit. You feel me? So, yeah, that was it. You feel me? Oh. On that car ride to to the city, yeah. Like what 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 was you playing? Like what what was niggas like? All right, bet we about to throw this on. Like what was the first music that niggas put you hip to? Like, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta listen to this shit since you've been gone. This shit is crazy as fuck. First niggas that I listened to. You talking about for our city? Yeah, or, let's, or let's, just period. Just period. Uh, city wise, uh, the first niggas I listened to was Drake on Bina. Okay. You feel me? They just dropped that out of space shit. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, my man is playing that shit in the car and shit. And uh, I like them niggas sound. I fuck with them niggas sound. Them niggas, them niggas be going. You hear me? They go. So, that's the first shit I listen to. They whole tape and shit. Then, you know, I started going through with other artists on my own and shit. You feel me? So, yeah, that was Drake on Beat. That was the first niggas that I had. Popped on this shit. So you, shit. you 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 would do some shit with Dragon Bean now? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for, for sure. sure. We do some shit. That for shit sure. gonna be lit too. Yeah, that shit you be hard. That shit be hard for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, bro, shit, seven years, bro. Like originally, you weren't even supposed to be that long, right? Six years. It was six years six at years, first, and you yeah. got an extra year. I got an extra year, so I did five. 
Okay. But I got an extra year, so I do six. You feel me? I was in that bitch on bullshit. I got caught with the cell phone. I was fucking around and shit. Okay. So, yeah, I probably been home. I'm late. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for the late. I'm sorry for the uh, 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 the wait. You feel me? So, you know, I apologize for my absence. You know what I'm saying? To all everybody that fuck with me and shit. You feel me? So, for people that don't know, what did you go to prison for? Oh, man. You feel me? <laughs> on the bullshit. <laughs> with the shit, with the guys, you know. Can't really... I don't really want to speak on that. Okay, you feel yeah, me? that's understandable. Like standing on the sure. business, you feel me? For sure. Yeah. So, like, as far as you report, how often do you got to go see your PO and report and all that shit? Like, yeah. you know, man, whenever whenever she called, man, I'm coming. Okay, okay. You feel but... me? Whenever she called, man, I'm coming. Okay. That's first priority, you feel me? That's 100, that's 100. Yeah, go ahead, get get that shit out the way. So, you just once these big-ass shows and deals yeah. coming through you. Feel me? Right What's out of town and shit. Yeah, we on. We, we, but listen, though, man. Listen, we on all. We on music, man. It's hard, buddy, man. Like, nigga, you cash back, nigga. I'm saying, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing that shit, nigga. Like I said, nigga, hard, buddy, the mob, nigga. It's the, it's the gang, nigga. It's the squad, nigga. It's the movement. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it's the new. You feel me? So that's Just what like we doing. You know what so if you could talk to everybody who been waiting for you to come home and everybody who waiting for you to drop this new music, what would you say to them? Listen, man. Like I said, I'm sorry for the wait. I apologize for my absence. New shit coming soon. It's coming rapidly. I ain't stopping. I'm going to continue to drop. It's going to be consistent. And that shit going to be lit. You feel me? That shit going to be fire. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to be posting that shit. I'm looking forward to it. Nigga, you got my support all the for way. Sure. Did an interview when you was locked up. For then sure, when you sure. came home, shit, phone call away. I mean, they got in trouble for that interview and that bitch For real, you did? Yeah, Straight yeah, up? Yeah, I got in trouble. That's crazy. Bitch. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, We're going to yeah. keep this shit going, though, bro. Sure. I'm, I'm literally looking forward to hearing your shit. Cause I was sure, fucking sure. with your shit before you got locked up. You feel yeah, me? So it, bro. let's do it. It's yeah, land yeah. though, your bitch. No, don't let your bitch go. It's, the f- it's not the first. It ain't the last interview with my dog, Juke Cash. Let's do it. Hard right, body, nigga, Juke Cash, though.